Hello everyone, welcome you all. This is Pavan. So in this video, uh, I am going to explain about uh, defect matrix. So why we need defect matrix? Let us see this scenario. So let's say uh, out of 84 defects we reported, only 64 are actually defects. Only 64 are actually defects. So it means uh, 20 defects we reported are wrong. It is a mistake in our testing. So how we can calculate them? How we can measure the quality of our test execution? So there are uh, two metrics we have to measure the quality of our execution. Let's say one is defect rejection ratio, the other one is defect leakage ratio. So defect rejection ratio, defect leakage ratio, both are different. So defect rejection ratio means we reported some of the defects to the developer and defect uh, developer has rejected those defects because they are invalid defects. So that is basically comes under the defect rejection. And what is the defect leakage? Means uh, we, have we haven't we have found those defects. Okay, we have left those defects in the application. We could not find those items. That's called defect leakage. How many defects we leave in the application. That is talking about defect leakage. Now here we have a formula like uh, defect rejection ratio means number of defects rejected by total number of defects we raised into 100. So that will give you defect rejection ratio. Similarly, defect leakage ratio. So number of defects we missed divided by total defects on software into 100. So that will give you defect leakage ratio. Now based upon these numbers, let's calculate. So in this above scenario, uh, we can calculate uh, defect rejection ratio. How we can do it? Defect rejection ratio, DRR. We can call it as a DRR, defect, uh, defect rejection ratio. So here defect rejection ratio number of defects rejected. So that means 20 or the number of defects are rejected divided by total number of defects we raised is 84. So 20 divided by 84. So finally we get 0 0.238. If we calculate this in percentage, we say 23.8% of the defects comes under defect rejection ratio. And similarly, we can also calculate defect leakage ratio. So in other example, let's say, I have uh, suppose software have 64 total defects and but your testing team only detect only 44 defects we found total 64 defects we have in application but we found only 44 and rest of the 20 hour we have missed those defects. So here how we can calculate uh, defect leakage ratio is we can call it as a DLR defect leakage ratio. So here number of defects missed is 20 and divided by total number of in software are uh, 64. So 20 divided by 64 is equal to 0 0.1, 0, uh, 0.312. And if I convert this in person is 31.2% of defects, uh, defect leakage ratio. So here defect rejection ratio is 23.8% and defect leakage ratio is 31.2%. So these are the two important metrics we need to use in the testing when you uh, calculate uh, or when you measure the quality of your test execution okay so that's all for this video so thanks for watching this please subscribe my channel to get more updates on this